Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with a world premiere. Dr. Martin Brule is the head of the All Systems Charge, and this world premiere is something that's going to be very interesting in the future. Dr. Brule, thank you for joining us. Hello. So, this, if you have this in your car, you can charge anywhere. With anywhere any and any kind of electric power you get, whatever is provided. Is it AC? Is it DC? Is it at 110? Is it 230 volts? So you consume everything. This little box, to most people, will not be known as the 800 volt to 400 volt DC DC. You guys call it the DC booster. We call it DC booster. Yes. Because we don't know how it evolves in the future. Will it be in some years 800 volt and your vehicle does not consume the 800 volt? We said if we have an interface to be flexible to get all of those voltages and consume it and bring it to the battery in the right way, um, this is the solution. So right now I go to a gas station and depending on if I have a diesel, unleaded, supreme, I can go to one gas station and pick it up and just pick which fuel I want and yep. plug and uh, energize my car. Yep. You're saying you can do the same thing with your station right there with this vehicle. Exactly. Show me how it works. So often you find this is a complete gas station in the comparison you made. Often you find just one of those. So sometimes you find DC connections, which is possible to plug in. The other way could be you meet a charging station which has an AC connection. And this fits also to this plug socket. Whatever you consume, whatever you consume, the vehicle inside recognizes what comes in, transfers it to the right way to the battery and charges the battery. Right. So this is maximum flexible. You don't have to think, is this the right charging station for my vehicle? It always fits. And in all cases, this system will be the fastest compared to the state-of-the-art systems you find on the market. Which was the hardest to do? Figure out the hardware or the software to do this? Oh, this um, complete development is a um, complex question. And in the end, it was more the idea. It's like the egg of Columbus. No? Who did it first? And then it's very simple. The, the drivetrain is reused with this function which is naturally does. So in traction mode, in regeneration mode, it already converts AC to DC. And we do the same while charging. Yes. Means we connect our drivetrain to the charging station, to the socket. Yes. And our machine regenerates at the socket. This is very interesting. Now the one thing that we haven't talked about is being able to put take this battery yep. and uh, hook it to the grid in case I lose my electricity in my house. Can you do that? The vehicle is prepared for that. And this is, you need the right installation, so you need main switch to the house. Right. Um, ask the expert on that side, the vehicle is prepared for it. There were former solutions to support your house via DC and you had a charging station to support your house because this did the conversion to the AC. This vehicle is the first which directly gives you the AC you need. So it's a very right. cost efficient solution to, s to support those use cases. Yeah. So once I have the charging system like this in my house, all I have to do is make sure that I can cook it up on the other side. So if I want to get power from the house yeah. or if I want to give power to the house. Exactly that. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. 2022, we're waiting for it. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Brewer. You're welcome.